guys. Hey guys, so it's Bethany's formal day. We're gonna start with hair and then do makeup after, just so that her hair is out of the way. But we faked hand her for the first time last night and she actually looks so good. Like it turned out so nice. So she's a bit like scared, but it actually I didn't ended even up fine. Really? Like it looks nice, hey. Color. Yeah. I love it. Nice. We did a really good job, I reckon. Yeah, we're gonna get into the hair. Do you wanna show your inspo pics? I was like, send me all your info, and then she just like sends me a photo of my face close. Should I show? Yes. Okay. Screenshot of my TikTok as well. It wasn't just the video. Okay. She sends. <laughs> show that focus because it's really cute. <laughs> that comes up on my phone screen, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Okay, so a lot of you have been asking how I did this hair on myself, but I may as well just show you how I did it, but on Bethany's head. <laughs> oh, I got my nails done. <laughs> so which way are we parting it? That side? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna part it from like the point of the eyebrow and go straight back for that side part. That is... <laughs> gonna do too much, just enough. And we're gonna go, we're gonna part it down to the ear. I'm going to keep that away for a bit. So then I'm going to section a little bit of hair down here. So uh, when we connect the fringe to the ponytail, we have a bit for it to hold on to before it goes up because we both have base framing, so it's really hard to like just put it back into the ponytail. Any leftover bits, we'll connect it here and then add it to the ponytail. We're also going to section that off. Let me get this. Oh, is this the gel? Yes. The one that I got taken away from me in Monaco. What? I had it the whole entire trip in Europe, and then it was when we were going home. Like, we were on our flight back from Monaco to Australia, and it got taken away from me because it was, like, flammable, but I had it the whole entire time. Flammable? Yeah. I'm just gonna add some texture spray so everything grips a bit better. It's just the O&M Desert Dry Volumizing Dry Texture Spray. Sorry. <laughs> Davro or Davro Construct Flexible Strong Hold Gel for Gravity Defying Hair. But just the hair gel. Uh, what height do you want it? Um, right, like there. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to use some hairspray as well just to keep it flexible with my slicking brush. Spray. Sorry. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Cool. Get that, keep that little baby hair. Should there. we like do that thing with the swoop? Yeah. Yes. So this is what we're looking like at the moment. It's all slicked back, and then we've still got that section bit, and we're gonna work on this little part now. Show me. Okay. Is she at the airport? Yes. That's what I said. She's. Yeah. Like, your makeup looks it so, looks so good. good. I'm gonna say hi to the little vloggy vlog. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! Hello! <laughs> okay, I'll see you on the other end. Love you! Love you, bye. bye! Now we're connecting the front part into the bottom of this. And that way it just keeps the fringe part going in that direction so that it doesn't like lift or move. I'm gonna add some bobby pins in here at the back so that it just is definitely staying. It's like perfectly flat. OMG, I remember when you used to do my hair for ballet. There'd yeah. be a bump in the back and you, you can't see it. <laughs> so I'm going back in with the texture spray for the ponytail. I'm just going to tease it a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Did you see it in the one? She won the TikTok award! Oh, wow. Deserves that so much. She's doing so well. I actioned the ponytail into two and I've teased the top part because we're going to turn that into a bun and wrap it around the hair ties. It kind of looks ugly, but then that way when we curl it, we can stick the curls straight into the bun and it has something to hold on to. Now I'm gonna get my curling wand and we're gonna curl the ponytail and we'll come back when that's all done and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm pinning it into the bun. Okay, so we're on our last little section. I've just pinned up all the curls so that they can set like that. I'll spray it first and then I'll take all the curls out and re-pin them into place. Literally all curled up. Just like keep it there for a bit and separate the curls and pin them all into place. It's time to get into makeup. Oh. <laughs> oh, getting like a panicky feeling in my chest. You're fine. Baby is going to formal.
I'm using the Anastasia brow pomade in the shade Caramel. We're going to use the Hourglass Concealer in the shade Fawn just to carve the brows. Next up, I'm using my Stila Double Ended Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. So we're going in for the base with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 7 and the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Fiji. Now, do you want your cupid's bow defined or do you want it just straight over the top like I do? Yeah? You look so good. You look like you. I do. Oh, lipstick? Yes. <laughs> so this is Bethany's final look and she looks absolutely insane. Look at that. We did an inner corner liner and everything. I don't know if we like missed that or not. So I'm currently getting ready now so that I can get dressed and we can go take Bethany's photos. But if I'm gonna be in some of them, I need to obviously be somewhat presentable. Oh my God. No, that's okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm obsessed. You look insane, Baba. Thank you. <laughs> And it fits you perfectly, like to think that you didn't need alterations on that either. Mm -hmm. That's, That's so, so cute. cute. Oh, oh my goodness. You how so grown good. does she look? She does. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Bye.